Hi there, Karen Rockkind here with a little message about choosing happiness. So here I am on the beautiful beaches of California, and you might say, Karen, it's real easy to choose happiness when you're in this gorgeous space. That is true. It is a lot easier to choose happiness when the sun is shining and you're on the beach and all that kind of good stuff. But you know, you know that there have been moments when you've been surrounded by all the best in life. Maybe you've been with your kids and they're playing and you still have a moment of sadness or depression. Or you've been in Disney World and you have a moment of being angry at the lines. Or you're on a vacation and something happens to the room and you have that frustration. So even when we're in, in the middle of the best of the best, the fact is that some of those difficult emotions still come up. The question is, what do we do with them? Do we allow ourselves to get so stuck in the sadness that we drown ourselves in depression? Do we allow ourselves to get so stuck in the frustration that we allow it to become all out, blown out anger, right? Do we allow ourselves to get so stuck and then get into a downward spiral that really takes the experience all the way down? So this is one of my challenges in truly being a happy person. I'm someone, I just want to be happy all the time. I, you know, even though I know and I teach that we can't be happy all the time, it's been in my blood and my bones since I was a little girl to just want to be joyful all the time. And so every moment, I, anytime I experience sadness or I experience anger or frustration, it still surprises me. And sometimes I will allow that emotion to just take me down and down and down and down until I find myself not just sad but depressed or I find myself not just frustrated but all out like angry. And I've had to learn how damaging that downward spiral is for me. It's not damaging for anyone else. I mean, the people who are around me watch out. But it's really damaging for me. And it's keeping me. It's keeping me from really enjoying life and living my purpose as best I can. The fact is that not every moment will be happy. I stand on stages and inevitably someone always asks me, Karen, are you happy all the time? This must be easy for you. No, right? We, we teach that which we have to learn. So yeah, I've always had an optimistic outlook on life and I've always believed in the good and for myself and others. But in terms of really understanding that happiness is not happiness in every moment, it's not elation in every moment, it is truly being able to experience the fullness of life in an engaged and meaningful way, I've had challenge being able to bring myself up from a difficult emotion. And I need people I love to remind me so just a few days ago, I went through a difficult experience and I was here in California and my man said to me, you have a choice to make right now. You choose to see the good and to really embrace being there and embrace all the good or you get yourself on a plane and you come home. And he was right because even though it's totally okay to have a moment of sadness, a moment of frustration, when we start allowing ourselves to be consumed by that, then we miss out on the beauty of the day. We miss out on the amazing, amazing opportunities that are around us. We miss out on the fullness, on the wholeness of an experience of happiness. And I'll tell you, because he said that to me and I said, I choose happiness. I choose to enjoy my day. I ended up yesterday with like the greatest day ever. I um, had a beautiful breakfast here on the beach. And then I, you know, my assistant's father, I, I, I had seen him a few days ago. He said, do you want a helicopter ride? And because I was in a good place, I said, yes. And then I ended up reaching out to friends of mine who live here and said, hey, come have dinner with me. Let's go out. We went to Santa Monica Pier. So because I was in a good place, because I chose in that moment, I got a hold of my thoughts. The fact is that every single feeling you have comes from a thought. And what do you do with those thoughts? So when you begin to feel sad, you begin to feel anxious. Can you get a hold of your thoughts and say, no, no thought. I'm not going there. I'm not allowing my emotions to get the best of me. I'm going to say I choose something else. I'm choosing happiness. I'm choosing to embrace the moment. I'm choosing optimism. Because indeed it is a choice and it's all a mental game. So this is how much you can really get a hold of your thoughts and allow your brain to control the rest of your experience. So with that, I hope you have a fabulous day and a fabulous week that you live purposefully, you love yourself, and you love life. Bye for now.